In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up stop losses on the L Bank futures market, whether you're going long or short. I'll show you how to get this done for positions that are already open, and I'll show you how to set this up while opening a position. If you're still relatively new to trading futures on L Bank, I do have a step-by-step -step L Bank futures tutorial, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. First, I'll show you how to set a stop loss for a position that's already open. Then I'll demonstrate how to set a stop loss while you're opening the position. And I'll demonstrate using Ethereum versus Tether pairing on the daily time frame. So the first thing I need to do is come up to my order panel and I'll just go ahead and mark it into a small position. I'll just do a 20 Tether position here and I'll go ahead and open a long position. Confirm. Now I'm in my long position. Now that I've opened myself a small long position right here in this area, maybe I want to set a stop loss somewhere just down below these candles right here. So what I'll do is I'll quickly grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools, something like this, and I'll go ahead and mark a spot just below this wick. Now I can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,681. So let's go ahead and set our stop loss. We'll come down here to open positions and right over here underneath TPSL, we'll go ahead and give this a click. Then you'll get a pop-up window where you can set your stop loss. You can also set a take profit in here as well. Your take profit would go in this box here and you can type in your stop loss down here. So let's just imagine we're targeting 2000. I'll just go ahead and type that in just for fun. And now down here in our stop loss box, let's type in the price point from the Y axis of the chart that's correlating to that horizontal. So we'll go 1,681. Now, just underneath the take profit box, we can see what our expected profit would be if our take profit target gets hit. And down here under our stop loss box, we can see what our expected loss would be if our stop loss gets hit. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, just simply click on confirm. Now I've set up my stop loss as well as a take profit. If we come back down here to positions and over here underneath TPSL, we can now see our take profit as well as our stop loss. If at any point you want to amend these, you can just click this little pencil icon right here. Then you'll get your pop-up window again, and then you can change the price points of your take profit and stop loss. If you want to delete them all together, you just click this little trash icon right here. Then you click on confirm. Now, as you can see, I just removed the take profit and stop loss. As easy as that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this position, and I'll show you how to do this while you're opening your position. So I'm just going to come over here and click on market close. Confirm. Now I've closed my long position. Now let's head back up here to the order panel and I'll do the same position size. I'll just do 20 tether. And before I open this long position, I'm going to click right here where it says stop limit long. And then here's where we can put in our take profit as well as our stop loss. So let's do the same thing. I'll go ahead and do 2000 as take profit. And then for stop loss, let's use that horizontal again. And we can see the price point of that horizontal on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,681. So we'll go 1,681. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, you just simply click on open long. Now in our order confirmation window, we can see that L Bank is going to add a take profit right here for 2,000 and a stop loss right here at 1,681 the moment we open this position. So if everything in here is what you intended, you just come down here, click on confirm. Now I've opened that long position. And if we come down here to open orders next to positions and give that a click, then click on stop limit. Here's where we can see the details of that. You can see the type of this order here is a take profit stop loss. You can see the take profit trigger price is 2000 right here. And you can see that the stop loss is at 1681. If at any point you want to cancel those, you just come over here on the right hand side, click on cancel underneath action, then click on confirm. And I just removed the take profit and stop loss. And of course, you can do this for short positions as well. So I'll go ahead and just close this position out again. Market close, confirm. Now I'll come back up here to the order panel. Once again, I'll just do a small amount of tether here and let's go ahead and do a short position. So this time I'm going to come down here, click on stop limit short. And let's just imagine that I'm targeting 1,500. We'll type that in there. And let's imagine that I want to set a stop loss at 1,790. Then I'll go ahead and scroll this down just a little bit. Click on open short. We're getting our order confirmation pop-up window. And we can see that L Bank is going to immediately add a take profit at 1,500. 
and we'll put a stop loss on at 1,790 the moment I open this position. If everything looks good to you, you come down here, click on Convert. Now I've opened that short position. If we come back down here, click on Open Orders, click on Stop Limit. Here's where we can see the details of our take profit as well as our stop loss. You can see the take profit trigger price right here, 1,500. And you can see the stop loss trigger price right here at 1,790. As easy as that. If you want to cancel them, come over here under action, click on cancel, confirm. And the take profit and the stop loss is gone. As easy as that. Of course, at the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis on the asset and the time frame that you're looking to set this up on and choose price points that make the most sense for you. But that's how you can get that done. And there you have it. That's how you can set up stop losses on the L Bank futures market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other L Bank tutorials, which I've put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.